personality, hidden motivations, and true beliefs. If you choose to listen on, do so with an open mind. Use insight is sure to bring you immeasurable rewards. I'll start by examining your soul urge now. Your soul urge, also called your heart's desire, shows what your soul needs to grow and evolve in life and relationships. Like your expression number, it's derived from assigning numerical values to the letters of your whole birth name using the Pythagorean alphabet. Except, in the case of your soul urge, you look only at the vowels. Here's why. Consonants are pronounced with sharp edges and have a definitively given way. They represent your public personality and the traits you outwardly show to the world. On the other hand, vowels are pronounced in free-flowing breath and have softer edges. They represent the true, tender, and often hidden you and reveal your deepest soul urges, many you might believe didn't know you had. The famous Renaissance doctor, translator, and astrologer, Marsilio Ficini, devoted much of his life to studying the incredible ways one's life improves when he or she follows the promptings of the soul. The benefits he encountered were undeniable. So, are you curious to know what your soul urge says about you? After analyzing the vowels of your full birth name, I discovered that your soul urge number is five. Whether you know it yet or not, you have multiple talents, gifted storyteller, and can charm the socks off anyone. You are fun-loving, adaptable, and full of life. You seek freedom and variety above all else and are constantly trying new things. You have a strong calling to become an entertainer, speaker, or travel guide. While your wide range of interests is definitely a great asset, it can make it difficult for you to focus on one thing as you are easily distracted. You don't like to stay in one place, one job for very long, and are always wondering what's next. It's said that variety is the spice of life, and you like your life very spicy. You have a strong dislike of being held down or forced into a mold of any kind, but it's only because it's your soul's urge to experience life to the fullest. Because you're so adaptable, you can often feel scattered, disorganized, or pulled into any direction. Remember to stay grounded and focused on the things that really matter, and there's no doubt that you'll achieve the fun, variety, and experience your soul craves. When it comes to relationships, your intense desire for freedom can make romance difficult. You prefer pleasure and excitement over stability, so you need a partner who shares your spontaneity and sense of adventure, or else you might avoid commitment altogether. You are incredibly fun to be around, and make sure there's never a dull moment, both in and out of the bedroom. But that's not all I've discovered about you. Like an onion, you have many, many layers. And after digging a little deeper into your numerology chart, I can see that you have plenty of unique traits and personality quirks left to explore. Nicole, I get the sense that you're somewhat unpredictable and a bit of a Things that normally please other women simply don't excite you. You're non-compromising and refuse to settle. Because you're a beautiful woman, even if you don't always feel that way, you often attract guys who are only into your looks. This can be frustrating because you are incredibly smart and have a huge soul. You tend to be a perfectionist and a bit competitive in the workplace. You're self-expressive, strong purpose, and are not afraid to go out and get what you want. I get the sense that you used to be, or are currently in, a position traditionally held by a I see you dressed to the nines and accomplishing everything you set your mind to. You have a confidence that few have. Not to say you are aggressive or forceful, but you aren't afraid to take risks. This makes you quite entrepreneurial and far from domestic in life. Although you do take great pride in your home and are an incredibly good parent. I get the feeling that you will get married and have children, but that may be down the road a bit because you have other exciting things to accomplish in your life right now. When you do decide to get married, you won't be the one to simply sit around. Even if you marry a millionaire, you'll always have your own projects and goals to work on. That's because you have a curious and investigative mind that needs to be challenged. Nicole, I see you as very intuitive, perceptive, and animated. Someone who has excellent communication skills and a diplomatic nature. I sense that while you have been successful thus far in your life, you've struggled a bit in the relationship part. However, this has more to do with the fact that you're incredibly selective hold men to high standards than it has to do with any sort of curse. While you can be a bit stubborn and hard to satisfy, you're in no way smug or vain. In fact, because of your rare and powerful energy, any man who is jealous, lacking confidence, or controlling can stand a chance. I get the sense that at some point recently you have or will be involved in a long-term relationship, maybe two to three years, where you experience more platonic love rather than a deep passionate love. This is a guy who loves you very much and with whom you feel safe, and while he will have some sort of effect on your life for years to come, 
semantically, it's not really an issue. The man you will fall head over heels for is this. I get the sense that you'll meet him in your late 20s, maybe around the age 30. He'll be confident, sensible, just like you. And I feel you'll have much in common. Once you meet him, there will be strong chemistry or synchronicity, and your life will never be the same. Best is yet to come. At some point very soon, I sense a new beginning of some sort. You will achieve more in your life in the next couple of years than you've accomplished in the past. You will achieve everything you want. This may be hard to believe, but the information I've shared with you over the last few minutes barely scratches the surface of what I can discover about you by digging deeper into your neurology chart. After just looking at your life path, expression, and soul urge numbers, I can say that you have a truly unique number combination. In fact, there's nothing I'd love more than to spend hours exploring every aspect of your chart. Analyzing the numbers that appear to be the same together. But as you can probably imagine, our resources are limited, and we have to draw the line somewhere with how much information we can freely give away, without even being sure yet that you'll need to go deeper and experience the powerful, yet often confronting truths hidden in your personal neurology chart. So far, I've just given you a brief overview. But if you're open to it, I'd like to send you your complete numerology report, where I'll take a deep dive into every single element of your chart to review.